Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A very nice, peaceful uh, tree farm. I, I don't know. I mean, there you go. It's a place with lots of trees. Is that an orchard? Yeah, okay, sure, why not? Uh, you know, there's a lot of trees around, but that's not, I mean, it's not just that. We're in the nice countryside. Beautiful houses, beautiful weather, beautiful mountains and hills. It looks like a nice place where you can go and sit down on the grass, although uh, I'm fairly certain this person, eh, I don't know if this person isn't necessarily posing for this picture. I mean, the, the, there's another person here which is casting the shadow, so yeah. But this is a really nice place, and now it's time for me to guess where it is. You guys have done that yesterday, and now it's time for me to guess where it is. And I think we are in Eastern Europe. Um, yeah, not just Eastern Europe, like like uh, like this area over here. Serbia. Serbia is where I think we are, if I had to make a guess. Serbia, sort of near Hungary, uh, sort of near Croatia, near Bosnia, like up around up around this area is where I think we are. And I'm going to go with, uh, why aren't we, why don't we say we're in beautiful Kantavir? Yeah, that sounds like it's a good place to me. Let's make the guess. And the answer, it was Serbia and sort of in that area of Serbia. Wow, hey. I'm pretty darn proud of that guess, honestly. I didn't think I'd, I really didn't think I'd get that close. That's really, really cool. Awesome. So yeah, I, I did pretty well there. Wow, I'm really surprised because there wasn't that many clues to go on there. Uh, we were near a place called uh, Suris. I'm maybe pronouncing that S wrong. Probably pronouncing the whole name wrong, to be frank. I have no idea. 4506 points is what I got. Hopefully some of you guys were able to uh, get lucky enough to make some guesses that are at least close to this region. 4506 was my points, and now on to today's daily challenge. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge. Now, this is a pretty sweet place. Very, very rocky shore, but these seem to maybe be cut blocks out of this strange looking almost volcanic looking rock it's just it's just very bizarre and very very cool looking you find ourselves these uh, nice looking buildings but if you, if you look down at, at the distance you can see there's a, a major major city over here this looks like we might find ourselves on a small island just out on the water off of this very very big city over there and clearly we're um, near some waters that are you know near some pretty important shipping lanes because there are some big um, oil boats i mean these almost look like they've got like cranes on them so they almost look like they're sort of like dredgers or something i don't know it's hard to tell what kind of uh kind of boats those are but my god this ever a cool place so this is a daily challenge and of course if you guys have any idea where this could be please put it down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world do you think this is say something over here interesting i have no idea what that is that is very bizarre. Anyways, if you have absolutely any idea where in the world this could be, or even if you don't and you feel like making a fun guess, put it down in the comment section below and tell me where in the world you think this is. In tomorrow's video, much like in the section you just saw, I'm going to make a guess as to where I think it is. I'll probably not be as close as I was uh, last time. Uh, this is going to go a lot worse because I have absolutely no idea where this could be. It'll probably be just some wild guess. So if you have any idea where this could be, uh, please tell me and uh, put it down in the comment section below. And hopefully you are the person that guesses closest. All right, now on to the main section of today's episode, which is a world challenge, which we are going to start off right now. Three minutes on the clock, that's a great amount of time. We are going to start playing, start new, of course. We don't want to resume the other one. If you want to find a link to this challenge, click down in the description below to find it. You can follow along or you can do it before and or after uh, me whatever order you want. I mean, I don't suggest doing it after, honestly, because you're going to find that uh, you already know the answers to everywhere, and it's not going to be as fun. So, we find ourselves in Australia. This is very similar to many of the Australian pictures, and if we simply move our camera to right here, this is perhaps the most Australian-looking picture I've ever seen in my life. Why? We've got the red earth. Why? We've got, you know, all the trees that look 
like this and the climate that looks like this and a perfectly blue sky that looks like this there is a big hovering alien light beam ship uh up there which is you know fine and mo even more importantly little stickies on the side of the road to guide us in the night which is nice because there's no lighting here and uh, reflective paint isn't really used so these little stickies over here will guide you in the night if you want to stay uh on the road and you probably do want to stay on the road so yeah <laughs> we're in australia where are we well, here's the gamble. Are we in Western? Are we in Queensland? Are we somewhere else? More often than not, it's either Western Australia or Queensland. And more often than not, it's the opposite one of the one I guess. So, I kind of want to flip a coin. I guess I might as well. I don't want it to make too much of an obnoxious noise. Uh, so, heads is going to be Queensland. And tails is going to be... Um, Western. So let's try and do that. Oh my god, I really hope this is making an obnoxious noise. There you go. That is tails. And flipping a uh, 10 cent coin, a dime. Got the blue nose on there. So that would be, which is a, a picture of a, of a ship. That's what's on the Canadian 10 cent coin. So that would be, would say we are in Western. I'm going to go uh, sort of mm, like, like in here somewhere. Is there any roads that I can go on? Like, right, or, yeah, right this one. We're on the 138. Sounds good to me. And let's make the guess. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Oh, I can't even believe it. It's like, it's like the same distance from the coast. It's like the exact opposite, really. Oh, it's just, it's hopeless. I can't, I can't do it. It's not possible. It's impossible for me to get Australia right. Every time. Every time time so where are we now we're not in australia we know that much and if we oh look at that mountain wow that's a cool looking mountain i like this wow that was a really neat looking mountain hope we see a little bit more of it nice twisty roads 40 people are driving on the right which is good uh what else do we know about this place we got wow speed limits they're changing all the time i guess that's i guess that's fine Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. First of all, look at this. Second of all, look at this. We're like above the clouds. Holy smokes, where are we? Oh my god. Wow, what a place this is. Look at this mountain. Look at all the mountains that are around here. We're above the cloud layer. Crap, where is this? This is beautiful. I... I want to know very badly where this is because I want to mark it down on some sort of piece of paper and go there one day because, wow, this is wonderful. All right, I'm liking this a whole... Ah, oh, look at this mountain. That's probably a real famous mountain because, seriously, I mean, look how cool it looks, right? This would have to be a famous mountain, I'm imagining. It might not be, but if it's not, then that is a real shame. It's real beautiful. It deserves to be a famous mountain. Mountain... If you're not famous, you deserve to be famous. Be you, 554. Um, be you. Be could mean Bulgaria, which would be honestly quite a surprise if we were in Bulgaria. I would not know where to guess, really. Are roads named Be you in Bulgaria? I, I kind of don't think they are. They might be. Now, one place we could be is Spain. Which actually makes a little bit more sense. Because Spain has a love for roads with strange beginnings. Strange letters at the beginning and ends. But looking at the mountains in Spain, there's no there's nowhere that has BU as the name. There's like look look at this, like C one one four one two B. These are C roads, alright? Cool. So we got that. But over down here are the B roads found here. No, GI. Oh boy, it's like impossible to figure it out. I, I really don't know. BU. I mean, that could mean anything. There's more GI roads up there. Or are there other mountains? There are other mountains. I guess I have to go Spain. I don't know where these mountains would be, but I want to go there. Uh, let's 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 say sure. Right over here. I have absolutely no idea. Bulgaria. No, it was Spain. Okay. So, Spain, tough tough country to guess. Those mountains didn't look... There are the BU roads. I found them. Wow, that is beautiful. What a nice area that is. Does, does it give me the name of that mountain? No? 
I wish it did. It was a really nice mountain. But yeah, wow, that was really, really cool. 43.23. At least you got the country right. Very awesome. So let's go to the next location. We are in America. Why? Because the picture's blurry. And um, since America was mapped first, blurry pictures happen often. So yeah, I guess they decided not to use very good cameras when they first did this. So we got our American flag. We've seen that. There's also what appears to be another flag there, but I can't tell what that is. The pattern on the license plate is an interesting one. It seems to be just like, two blue things in the background behind the numbers. Um, I don't really recognize that. I mean, it looks sort of like a Nova Scotia license plate. Nova Scotia Canadian license plate have, actually, they have a blue nose I was talking about a little bit earlier on them. Um, but in uh, sort of a faded blue in the center of the license plate. Uh, so there you go. The blue nose, famous schooner, which is like a racing ship, I guess. It's a racing sailboat. It was sort of famous, I guess, maybe. I've heard a little bit about it. Cannon Street. All right, we can get a nice Hershey's ice cream. Does Hershey's make ice cream? I guess maybe if it's ice cream with chocolate in it, that's sort of Hershey's, but do they just make regular ice cream? I guess they may be. They do, maybe they don't. We've got a Chinese restaurant, Golden King. Sounds delicious. We They got a lot of stuff here. Wow. Um... Sam Adam, Twisted Tea, Coors Light. Uh, so, I mean, I don't think, I don't really know if any of this know. I mean, Sam Adams is sold out of everywhere, right? Is that is that a Boston beer? Is it? I think it is. Not really sure. Is it, is, is it somewhere else? I might be completely wrong there. Dorchester. All right. Place called Dorchester. Where would a place called Dorchester be? Dorchester would be in... Dorchester would be in Pennsylvania. That's where Dorchester would be. Sure. All covered flooring. All right. I, I'd love, I love covered flooring. Dishing it out. Oh, that's a great name for a restaurant. Is that restaurant really called Dishing It Out? Hold on. Let's go look at that again. That was, that was pretty good. Dishing It Out. Wow. That is fantastic. Cardigan Mountain School. Okay. Cardigan Mountain. <laughs> a great name man these places have great names i mean it's a place called cardigan mountain <laughs> dishing it out is a fantastic name for a restaurant i mean it's really corny but it's it's pretty good i approve um we're gonna go with uh sure we're gonna go with uh cardigan mountain cardigan mountain uh massachusetts cardigan mountain new hampshire make the guess live free or die cardigan mountain it's so hard to see state lines. <laughs> I don't even know. Vermont? Where the hell are the state the state lines? Oh, did I even did I put that in Vermont? I don't even know. I can't tell. The line is here, right? Where does it just fade into oblivion? It does. It just fades into nowhere. I don't even okay, yeah, oh I see. Okay, yeah, all right. This is the shape of these states. I, okay, I placed it here. I meant New Hampshire, and I clicked in Vermont because state lines are so unclear to me that there you go. But that's my own fault for not knowing where Vermont is. So, you know, my own fault. It was a place, it was Cardigan, New Hampshire. Very, very cool. 46.93, that's awesome. Live free or die. That's the uh, it's the that's the state motto of. Uh, oh, we are in. Uh, I think we're in Finland, right? I think these. I think. Uh, I mean, this looks this looks really Finlandy. Uh, like the these signs over here, these sort of uh, bus shelters like this, these roads. I mean, it almost can't look more Finlandy than this. Except if we're not in Finland, in which case I'm very sorry. Uh, we're not in Finland. I'm very sorry to anyone who lives in Finland. Or to anyone who lives in the country that we actually find ourselves in. But seriously, this looks like a lot of times that we've been in Finland. And, I, you know, reading this, I, I at least feel a little bit more safe because that looks really Finnish to me. Uh, I can't say that it is because I, of course, can't... Not of course, but I can't read it to anyone who doesn't know that I can't read Finnish. But uh, it does look a word that, in my mind, looks very Finnish. So, Cardigan, Cardigan Mountain... I mean, this place might have a great name too, but if it's something like Cardigan Mountain, 
I won't be able to get the joke or the 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 funness of the name. Uh, also, I mean, we've seen a lot of street names, but we haven't really seen any. Um, we haven't seen any names of places yet. All we've seen is some nice, some nice roads, some nice trees, and a nice time. Uh, you know, it's nice, nice to drive around here. It doesn't look like a very wide road, though. That's the thing. There's big ditches. There's a lot of areas. I mean, the trees have been cut down for a lot around here, but uh, the roads just aren't, aren't too wide. It seems like you can make the road a little bit wider here, but uh, decided, I guess, against it. That's, that's fine with me. Um, you know, whatever. We can go down the road and see if we find anything nice. Although I'm fairly certain we're gonna find more of uh, more of the same style of of looking around and seeing a lot of trees and time ticking by and our lives contemplating the fact that I'm never gonna end up in this area in my life, which is I'm um, sort of a sad thing to be honest. But really, I mean I'm not I'm not too sad about it. There's a lot of other places on the list. I think I added one today when the, with that cool mountain. Uh, in Spain that's been added on the list this one it's not on the list of places to go but honestly if if I were to be able to uh, sort of get teleported to to here tomorrow for like six hours I'd do it maybe even longer than that I mean no, I'm just saying six hours because like I'd be pretty lost to be in the middle of nowhere I could walk I could have a nice six hour hike around here just on the road and be like wow I'm in Finland. This is cool. But, you know, I'd much rather... Like, I could go around and look at this nice pond here. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. I'd do it. I wouldn't really want to go here for much longer because there's not that much around. So it'd be a little... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Make the guess. I did it. Very nice. And I even clicked in Finland. So that is very good. We were very close to Ulu, actually. So that is pretty awesome. 34, 39. Next location. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. This is neat. So this is a picture taken by someone who goes by the name of Arkili Skevediani. All right. That really doesn't tell me anything. Uh, to be honest, I do not I do not know how to interpret that name and put it together with a location. Like, where, where would someone with a name like that be from? I don't know. They might not be from here. Which uh, also would, you know, mean that that clue completely doesn't help. All right. We've got, like, some sort of, like, uh, sort of, like, outdoor amphitheater. And we've got... Hmm. Okay. I feel like I should recognize that. But I don't. It's not... I don't want to say it's not a country's flag. Because it might be a country's flag, but I don't know which one, which country it would be if it's a country's flag. Hmm. So, I am now starting to think of what, if it is a country's flag, what countries do I not know the flags of? And, I mean, immediately looking at it, I sort of think of the flag of England, but it's not because nowhere in England does it look like this. Uh... Thinking a little bit more doesn't really yield any good clues. So I, this this sort of makes it, it has a European style license plate. So we've got that. Oh, we're back over here. In fact, we're not really back over. Oh yeah, we are back over there. Okay, so we can go there. We can go maybe around over there. No, we can go this one. No, it's the same. Oh, that's a different place. What does this say? Palm Beach. Palm Beach. Palm Beach where? Where is this place? This is a puzzle and a half. I uh, am very, very uh, inquisitive trying to find out where this where this place could be. I, I do not know. This is so confusing. <laughs> very nice, but much, much confused. Now, I think I've seen everywhere. No, I haven't seen everywhere, but I still don't know where this could be. English is used but this is a pretty touristy place i haven't seen any tourists but it looks like it was sort of intended for there to be tourists um we've got a name it looks like that but uh, again that might that that's probably nothing we can't really judge anything by a name 
Uh, countries I don't really know what their flags look like include these three countries right here, include these countries over here, but I don't think we're there at all. I don't think we're actually in Europe. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, we were in Georgia, right? Yeah, we were in Georgia. Well, there you go. Included in the countries in which I don't know uh, their flags, Georgia is one of them. I did not know that that's what the flag of Georgia looked like. So, but uh, one of the things about Georgia is I can tell based on the writing, because Georgia has some super unique uh, writing. Sadly, it also uses English, apparently, at least in this area, in a place called Anaclia. Well, honestly, I probably only saved myself what? Like, I probably... I don't know where I would have guessed. I seriously might have guessed, like, I, I wouldn't have guessed anywhere around here, I don't think. I think I would have gone for somewhere, like, I think I would have gone for, like, the middle of the ocean somewhere. Somewhere somewhere where I, like, seriously had absolutely no idea, like, just, like, down here or something. Like, in this area, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I would have even went, I don't know. I was, it's, it's such a puzzle. It's, I, I, have, I had no idea where that was. So we finally found our answer. One, three, three, seven, six. We were in Georgia on the last one. That was super cool. We were in Spain. That was even cooler. That was my favorite one of them all. That was a really nice one. We were in Finland. Very nice. If I could be teleported there for six hours, I totally would. We were in New Hampshire. If I could be teleported there for six hours, I totally would. In fact, I'd probably spend a little bit longer in New Hampshire. I'd spend a little bit longer in Spain. I'd spend a little bit longer in this area in Georgia. And I'd spend less long by quite a bit in the Australia location because that looked pretty damn uh, desertic. I'd spend about an hour there if I could be teleported there for about two hours and I could bring some water. I'd do it. Sound like a fun time even. But uh, there you go. 13376. Pretty nice indeed. Hopefully, well, it's not that great, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed and as always, tune in tomorrow for more hot GeoGuessr action. Oh yeah. Cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.